statement? I don't normally start with an opening statement, but I see her up in the left-hand corner. And I just got to say, Florida State took good care of us down here. We had a great dinner last night at, at Bowden's. Uh, and um, good preparation. I, I thought, you know, our, our defensive staff led, you know, Coach Schaefer led, leads our defense. He's got Evan over there helping him with things. He's got Coach Love over there helping him with things. And then our players just executed. To hold that team to 28%, uh, with a 57% fourth quarter, mind you. Uh, unbelievable. Uh, and then our defense led to offense. I uh, thought we were uh, very poised tonight, got off to a little slow start, turned it over a few more time, many times and settled in. And our best performance of the year, obviously, uh, inspired by all the good things happening back in Fayetteville. We watched that game last night and uh, cheered everything on. We can't wait to get home and celebrate with the Razorbacks. Alyssa? Coach, congratulations. You talk about a little bit of a slow start, and I think it was uh, Samara Spencer was three for four, but everyone else was one for 20. And you guys just stayed the course and kept going. And then obviously I think that Sailor three at the break really propelled you guys into the second half. Yeah, I felt, I felt like we we knew we had played well, but we were kind of behind. So that three, now you're going ahead, and you start talking about these seven shots and the talk in there, uh, Mac and, and Sam talking to Talia and, and saying those shots are going to go which they did in the second half. Uh, I thought we weathered the storm. You know, it, just, it got off to a really bad start with Ladson taking the opening tip and driving right in for a layup. It it, it kind of got off to an auspicious start, but I thought we settled in, we locked in. Um, but yeah, I thought Sam kept us in it for a long time. And then I think she closed it too. She was so confident in uh, what we were running. She was managing our team between her and uh, Mac. You know, we, we had them – specifically at the at the racker spot, our point guard spot tonight, Talia off the ball with those matchups. And, and I think their leadership on the road and there. And then Talia understanding when to get the ball out of the corner uh, is really starting to come together. Uh, unbel unbelievable by Sailor today with 23 rebounds. Uh, is that a school record? It is. I, okay. Yeah, it is. twenty. I think 22 was the record. Yeah. Shelly Wallace, who, by the way, is one of the great rebounders in history, but you know, Sailor broke the defensive rebounding record last year and, you know, 19, 19 to not defensive rebounds. Uh, I mean, that's video game numbers, man. I mean, that is that is video game numbers and um, 19 defensive. You know, that's just – that jumps off the chart. Edge, but her effort was great. She can play a lot of minutes. Uh, she's got a really good approach to it. She understands that's her role and she values her role. She knows her team's counting on it. Uh, even though the final number shows us getting out rebounded 55 to 51, anybody that watched this knows that we we did a good job on the glass tonight. Thanks, Led by Coach. And Marion was six. Ethan? Yeah, Mike, uh, congrats. Just um, Thanks. to be down, I think it was 24 to 16, and then spanning from the second to third quarters, y'all went on a 33 to six run. Just – um. I guess, what was the message to the team? Y'all have been defending good at that point. Um, what was the message to just kind of steer things around? Just just keep playing fast. I didn't. I felt like transition was the key. I didn't feel like that they organized well in transition. We, we were tough with the ball when we were getting hit. Sort of that first contact was a big, a big talking point over there. Um, but I, I think everybody felt like, you know, we were taking good shots. Everybody was, you know, saying to each other, keep shooting, keep going there, I'll find you. Um, so I think weather in that little bit of a slow start, like we've been talking about, a lot of that's how you react to things. You know, you, you can't control a lot of things, but you can control how you react to it. And if you miss a shot, you don't get your head down you come back and you, you take that next one with a lot of confidence. Obviously our rotation has developed and our kids now are lo playing loose and free. They're not looking over their shoulder about coming out. Uh, we've got eight games, seven games worth of film on teaching them. And I think our staff's been doing an amazing job showing them the film so that that'll carry over to games. We made a couple of little tweaks in practice, too, uh, with our guys' practice squad. We went a little bit more live, a little bit tougher, um, and and it made a difference tonight because we had to be – it was a very, very physical game. And then you said, I mean, even going into this game, coming off that Marquette loss, you said we'll learn a lot about our team this week. Just uh, what do you think about the way that, you know, really – started on the defensive end just to respond from that loss and have this type of performance? Well, our kids were – they were uh, – you know, I don't talk to our team after games. Uh, I, I let them talk, and I checked in with them. 
And when Matt came out, she said, Coach, we had a good talk, and we're, we need to have a good film session. And if you need to get on me extra hard, you can, because there's a lot of things we can get better at after the Marquette game. I think it embarrassed them a little bit. I, I think they were embarrassed looking at that film. I think there was some uh, – they were ashamed that they didn't do some things that we had talked about doing. And, and, and our group reacts when you challenge them, they'll react. And uh, man, it, it's not, this will be a completely different film session uh, tomorrow. Daniel, is that you? Yes, it is. Perfect. Go ahead. Yeah. Hey coach. I remember one of the early games this year, you said when y'all took 33s and didn't make very many that y'all said that that was maybe too much, but 41 tonight, is this just kind of part of the identity that this team is slowly starting to develop? It, I mean, the number is what the, that's a big number, obviously, but we didn't get to the foul line as much tonight. It was a very physical game and there weren't many fouls called on either side. So that's going to lead to more field goal attempts. I, I think other than one or two, threes I was okay with all of them if, if that's what people are going to give us we're going to have to prove that we can make them and you know 13 is a solid number out of that it's about 32 percent um and yeah you're right for, for that game but as long as they're in the flow and they're what the game is dictating uh, I'm not going to spend too much time uh, worried about the the number itself um, I think continuing to get quality ones is the number. So if that number goes down and our, as our free throws go up, I'm okay with that. Um, but I, I think tonight it was just kind of what they were giving us. They were clogging the paint and forcing us to throw it out. And I thought we hit some real timely ones. And then, you know, moving forward, this top 25, top 15 win, you know, just moving forward, given who you have next on the schedule, what does that do for this team? Well, I'm sure it changes our confidence. I mean, you can't give anybody confidence. Everybody goes, ah, oh, just give them some confidence, Coach. That doesn't work that way. You have to earn it. I think they earned some confidence tonight. I think you you can't go into a game like this. You certainly can't go into, you know, what the one like we're going to face on Sunday without just a little bit of confidence and a little bit of swagger. I think it'll help everything that we're doing. I hope it energizes our crowd to give us a crowd like – I mean, I'm not saying we're going to sell that place out or white it out like the men did last night. But come – if you're not doing anything on Sunday – the last several times that we've had a top-ranked team coming in there, we've had amazing crowds, and it's been a huge difference for us. So, um, you know, we're going to enjoy this one all the way back to Fayetteville. It's going to be a fun plane ride. Uh, but we'll get back to work. Coaches will be working on UCLA on the plane. Uh, and then the team uh, tomorrow will get back to work. I, I think we'll play with more confidence. I, I can't tell you we'll play better than that. I'm not sure we can play better than that yet. Uh, but I, I, I have a lot of confidence that we can play that hard again. Did you use what happened last night at all? I know you know you, yeah. you all talked about it, but did you use it at all with the team or anything? Yeah, we talked about it. Yeah, I mean they all watch it. They're they're all friends with those guys, and we specifically left early enough to get down here and get in front of a TV and uh, cheer them on. It was the you know the topic of conversation uh, in the bed in in the breakfast room this morning, and um, you know I, I think what we used about it was some things that like Mus had said in his press conference about how you know, how they prepared, you know, he gave them two days off. We, we didn't give them two full days off, but we gave them a day and a half off. And that third day of prep was, was lighter and all about us. So we, we always make references. They're, they're close. They pull for them. Um, so we did, we absolutely talked about it over breakfast. Uh, you know, I, I don't know how the SEC ACC challenge is working out, but we were four and more. We we're down four one uh, after day one. And uh, we said, we got to do something special here, man. I, I I thought we did. I think that's a special, special win. I think it's 5-2 now. I think Georgia lost right before. Okay. Yeah, All right. right. Well, it's, we need LSU and South Carolina and Auburn and Alabama. Kentucky won. That's it. Hey, we're coming back. We're coming back. Let's see how this thing ends. It's a great thing. I mean, uh, when the two conferences started talking about it, obviously, I think you know, every every coach sets up here and tells you that their league is the best, and I don't know that there's ever any, any data to prove any of that. But I, I would tell you that over the last five years, you know, you've got to consider the ACC, SEC, and the Pac-12 in the conversation. So it was a great series. Um, you know, I'm, the fact that we've got Florida kids uh, when we saw it, uh, I, I'm I'm really excited for them. All right, Dudley. Coach, you mentioned the video game numbers uh, on Sailors rebounding, but uh, Florida State's offense uh, had been obviously averaging 88 points a game. You mentioned the defense a little bit, but uh, talk about how, you know, you took that on the road and, and really it had to be a big key in your winning. 
It, it was. It, it started the Monday when we came back, and we worked, uh, again, not specifically to Florida State, but on just go, getting back to some some very fundamental things defensively. I gave Todd uh, 40 minutes of practice, uh, and we worked on closeouts, and we worked on being in the right spot, and we worked on getting in a stance. There were a bunch of clips of us never being in a stance to begin with against Marquette, and um, I, I felt like that the, our prepar we prepared good this week. We had three really good days of preparation, so I think that carried over, um, and, and we'll continue to do that, obviously. It's something that I think our kids responded to. Uh, I think it, it gave valuable roles to every single person. We only played seven kids tonight, but every single person down to our, our newest uh, from the soccer team, B, B helped us in practice. You, If y'all get Mac and Sam on here uh, anytime soon, ask about how hard it is to get around that kid, how tough she is, how strong she is. So, But just proud of every single kid on our, our roster. And I, I said it on the radio, this one's kind of for Sasha. Uh, you know, we're, we missed her down here. That, that's a sister of theirs. Uh, I hope she's listening. I hope she's watching. We love her. Uh, we can't wait to celebrate this one with her when we see her again. And Ethan, you have another one? Yeah, I was just going to say, I know uh, Fort Lauderdale and Tallahassee aren't really close, but Sam reached the 1,000-point club in her yeah. home state. Uh, can you just speak a little bit on um, just what she's meant to the program and kind of getting to have that moment here? Well, we, I told her, I said, you're. she didn't. She really had – she may know. She acted like she didn't. I said, you realize – for the rest of your life, your thousand points ball is going to say at Florida State. And she kind of got a little smile on her face like she does. But, um, you know, that's a kid that um, she's – she when we recruited her, I wasn't sure we were going to get her. She was really, really quiet. I think she understood the opportunity and the style and how it fit with us. And then she obviously made the most of it as a freshman and has just continued to improve as a, as a human being, as a leader – um, I think her voice tonight, I, I challenged each of our guards to not need help tonight, but if they did, to use their voice. And it's as loud and as vocal uh, as I've seen her. And I thought she was really big in going to talking to Leah. When Talia missed her first few few shots, Sam was right there telling her and right there saying, you keep getting open, I'll find you. Uh, and that type of confidence, you know, uh, in a coach, for a coach, uh, you know you can get through about any tough situation. So, I, that's going to be a special ball for her to have the rest of her life. I'm, I told Amber, get the ball ready. We don't know when it's going to happen or who it's going to happen, but man, how cool would that be if it was on this road trip? So I hope we can get that turned around fast enough to give to her before the UCLA game. Perfect. Anything else? Thank you.